Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is a good one. We're going to be looking at the benefits of using groups in your rigs in Toon Boom. A lot of people don't really like to use groups because feeding nodes in and out of groups, it can make things pretty complicated. And I was one of those people before. But then I took Toon Boom's rigging course and the instructor really showed us a lot of great benefits of splitting your rig into groups. So let's jump into Toon Boom and I'll show you a couple that I remember. I'll show you how useful groups are. Let's take a look at this Jon Snow rig. As you can see, all the parts that make up this arm are hidden inside the arm group. There are a lot of nodes that make up this hierarchy, so keeping them in a group really helps the rig stay organized. And of course, an organized node view is always a nice thing, but the biggest advantage to grouping your limbs like this is it makes it very easy to clone them. So this front arm is a clone of this back arm. The great thing about cloning your limbs is it makes making changes very, very easy because you only need to make changes to one and then you can just clone it and then you have changes to both. For example, if I wanted to add a deformation to this hand, right, there's my deformation. If I go into my other arm, my deformation isn't there and I don't wanna add it manually. So what we do is we select our back arm, we go to node, clone selected drawings only, not drawings and timings. Always do drawings only. It'll pop up here. We'll drag it where our front arm is. We'll replace that. We can delete it or turn it off. And now this arm also has a deformation on it. And it took me less than 10 seconds. Do you think if we go back to our hand, each hand has the same number of drawing substitutions. And since they're cloned, if we add another drawing substitution. See how 17 popped up here? We can go to our other hand. We'll see it also has drawing swap 17. That's all I have for groups, guys. And again, it's very useful when you're creating your arms and your limbs, and even when you go back in to modify those arms and limbs. Let me know in the comments if you like to use groups. If you don't like to use groups, let me know if I missed something. You know, I always, always love to hear from you guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video.